time about how my mom made me shave my hair off. So a little background information, I was 13 years old and in seventh grade, and I had just moved to a new school this year because my grandma was really sick and my family and I needed to take care of her. And for like the first two months, I had a big problem making friends until I met my best friends, Ashley and Nicole. Ashley was super sweet and Nicole was kind of a And I was in between, so we kind of all balanced each other out. But fast forward to later on in the year, we met this one girl named Kelly. And I'm not gonna lie, she was super nice, but really annoying. She would always try to talk to us, always try to hang out with us. She was literally stuck 24 seven. And the one day Ashley convinced Nicole and I to have a sleepover with Kelly and her. So we say yes, and Nicole, Ashley, and I are all texting in the group chat. Nicole goes, well, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be nice to her. And she actually said that we were going to play a prank on her. And that's when Ashley bailed because she didn't want to be a part of it. Like for part two. Part two about why my mom made me shave my hair off. So like I said, Ashley bailed because she did not want to be a part of Nicole's evil plan to bully this girl. So fast forward, Nicole and I go over to Kelly's house and I start to feel really bad because Kelly's actually super nice and she wasn't as weird as I thought she was. Fast forward, Kelly's sleeping and Nicole comes over to me and she's like, hey, come to the bathroom with me. So I get up and I go to the bathroom and Nicole pulls out Nair. And I asked her what the hell she's going to do with that. And she was like, oh, I've seen some people do pranks on YouTube. You know, they put it in somebody's shampoo bottle and then it makes them lose their hair. So since I'm the only one who thinks logically, I'm like, Nicole, you cannot do that. And she's like, oh, don't be such a baby. That doesn't even work anyways. All the videos that I watched, people only lost like four strands of hair. Which made no sense because why the f*** are we going to do it then? Anyways, fast forward. I go to sleep. I wake up in the morning and my mom comes to get me. Like for part three. Part three about why my mom made me shave my hair off. So like I said, Nicole put the nair in her shampoo and I went to sleep. I decided I was not going to be a part of this little plan. And I wake up in the morning. My mom comes and picks me up. And Ashley's texting me saying, hey, was Nicole nice to Kelly? And I told her about what she did. And Ashley was like, oh my god, that's so f***ed up, like, I'm gonna tell Kelly. And I was like, yeah, I was gonna tell her, but I don't want to get Nicole in trouble. So fast forward to dinner time, my mom gets a call from Kelly's mom. And she was like, Kelly took a shower earlier, she's losing her hair. And Nicole texted Kelly saying that your daughter's the one who put in my daughter's shampoo. So my mom's like, well, how do you know it was my daughter? And she was like, Nicole also said that she saw the Nair bottle in your daughter's backpack. So my mom runs up to my room. She finds the Nair bottle in my stuff, which obviously Nicole put there. But my mom wouldn't listen to me. So eventually she sat me down in the kitchen and shaved my hair. This is why you should never watch TV late at night. Once a mother and a father decided they needed a break, so they planned a night out together, and they left their two children with their babysitter at home. Everything was going good, the children were well behaved, and the babysitter was just sitting around while watching the kids. But eventually, she decided that she wanted to watch some TV. It turns out she couldn't watch it downstairs because they didn't have cable downstairs, so she called the parents and asked if she could watch TV with the kids in their room upstairs. The parents agreed. They were about to hang up the phone when the babysitter had one final request. As she entered the parents' bedroom, she asked if she could cover up their large clown statue with the cloth or a blanket. She said it was making her very uncomfortable. The phone line went dead for a second. Then the mother said over the phone, take the children and get out of the house. We don't have a clown statue. As the babysitter turned around, she saw the corners of the clown's mouth widen into a smile.